in this video we are going to discuss one more gate problem related to final value theorem in jet transform observe the problem here is given in gate 99 the jet transform of the signal is given by c of z is equal into z inverse 1 minus z power minus 4 divided by 4 into 1 minus z inverse whole square its final value is given by 4 or 0 or 1.0 that means 1 or infinity so here i want to consider that so first of all i want to write my final value theorem final value that means c of infinity is equivalent to limit z tending to 1 z tending to 1 z minus 1 into c of z this is final value theorem for the transform so now i am going to apply that here z tending to 1 z minus 1 into z inverse 1 minus z power minus 4 divided by 4 into 1 minus z inverse whole square if i substituted this z tending to 1 here itself there is no use we need to reduce the options for 0 we need to uh, we need to neglect we need to vanish the chances of getting 0 and infinity after after doing some analysis also you are getting 0 or infinity means we can't do anything but here i am just searching the cases to get the value of final value theorem so here if i substituted 1 here i am getting this 0 so that is why i am not going to substitute here so here i want to reduce this so limit z tending to 1 z minus 1 into here i want to take common of z power minus 4 then i will get z power minus 5 into so if i take common of z power minus 4 here 1 by z power minus 4 will be there that i am writing as z power 4 minus 1 divided by so here also i am taking common of i am taking this z inverse as 1 by z then how i will get 4 into z minus 1 whole square if i return separately that denominator that will be z square so see here so i am having z square here so in the denominator this will goes to numerator when multiplied with numerator this will be is equal to z power minus 3 so this is equal to limit z tending to 1 and here 1 z minus 1 1 z minus 1 is going to cancel so now it is modified like this denominator z square is going to multiply with this numerator z power minus 3 into z power 4 minus 1 divided by remaining is 4 into z minus 1 4 into z minus 1 again we are having problem in this case if you substituted z tending to 1 here 1 minus 1 takes place you are going to get the infinity so now also i am not satisfied i want to i want more reduction i am searching for the value if value is not possible at the end itself we are going to get 0 or infinity but we need to try for the value if value is possible then that will be perfect answer for final value so here limit z tending to 1 so here i am thinking this as i am writing this as z square whole square that z power 4 i am treating like z square whole square so a square minus b square this one i am writing like 1 square so a square minus b square how we can write a plus b into a minus b a plus b into a minus b so that is equal to a square minus b square so i am writing like that z power minus 3 a plus b means z square plus 1 into z square minus 1 so divided by 4 into z minus 1 again i am writing a square minus b square formula here you just treat like 1 square so limit z tending to 1 z power minus 3 z square plus 1 into z plus 1 into z minus 1 divided by 4 into z minus 1 i am just cancelling this z minus 1 with this z minus 1 now i am not having any issues with the z tending to 1 if i substituted z tending to 1 here i am going to get some value 1 whole power minus 3 that is equal to 1 so z square plus 1 if i substituted 1 here i am going to get 2 here 2 into 2 divided by in denominator i am having 4 4 by 4 i am going to get 1 1 as my final value for this transform c of z is equal to z inverse into 1 minus z power minus 4 
divided by 4 into 1 minus z inverse whole square. So, C will be the right option for this problem.